Yes, dear students, today we are, are going to discuss about the solubility. Solubility, we have two types. Number one is that liquid into liquid. Number two, liquid into gases. The factors which affect the solubility, that are the like dissolve, like and temperature and when we are going to discuss the solubility of liquid to into liquid the principle stands here that like dissolve like polar solvent will be more soluble in the polar solvent temperature pressure so many things are there and when we discuss the liquid into gases then vapor pressure whenever we heat a liquid then we also discuss the term vapor pressure When a liquid is heating, then uh, suppose that we take in the water and we will heat it and its vapors are formed. Then vapor and that liquid will come in the equilibrium and vapor pressure will be increased. To discuss the solubility, we are having the two principles in our syllabus. One is that Henry law. And he has given the law that uh, pressure is directly proportional to mole fraction. And mole fraction I told you earlier in the 11th class. And pressure is direct is equal to kh dot x. x is the mole fraction. We can also explain this in term of pressure is directly proportional to mass means that how much the pressure is there, there so much the number of mole fraction is to be there and uh, if we would like to get that kh is the Henry law constant and we have to discuss, we have to find out the pressure or the mole fraction. If we would like to do the value of x of any gas, suppose that CO2, then x CO2 will come to you. Pressure is divided by Henry law constant and whenever pressure value is not given, we will take 0.987 ATM or bar and suppose that Henry law constant is given 1 by 6 7 10 is about 8 Pascal then you have to convert this ATM into the Pascal and multiply this one with 101 3 to 5 and will be converted into the Pascal and then you come to solve the numerical problems also if this is Pascal that is Pascal you will cut this one. Then second is that mole fraction you know very well when we find out this one. Yes, mole fraction will be counted as xb is equal to mb by nb plus xa. One important thing is that when we discuss p is directly proportional to x, p is equal to kh x and you are getting it uh, clearly here that uh, whenever kh is to be found p is directly proportional to by x of any gas suppose that it is x h 2 s is only given then you have to find the x h 2 s x h 2 s you have to find that n h 2 s divided with n h 2 s if any component is not given, you take the other component N of water <coughs> and you know that number of moles of water in 1 liter, number of moles of water in 1 liter that always comes to you given mass by molar mass, whenever given mass is not given you must take 1 liter 
water mass is 18 1 liter will be equal to 1000 gram divided by 18 it comes to 55.5 you must have to take this one number of moles and then Henry Lass states that when pressure is increased mole fraction is increased means of that number of moles increases so first that to fill the gas in cold drink is based on this to fill CO2 gas in cold drinks and number two when scuba divers scuba divers goes to the deep sea then with increase the pressure with the increase of pressure <coughs> dissolution of nitrogen gas with increased pressure nitrogen gas more dissolving into the blood that causes the reduction of oxygen gas and due to the extra presence of nitrogen in blood in the scuba drivers that will stop the supply of oxygen and that disease is called bends we take this one and third one is that when we go to the high altitude at high altitude pressure is decreasing so dissolution of oxygen availability of oxygen is decreasing and we feel difficulty in breathing and that is cause anoxia so these three terms you must be take care whenever you are doing the hand mozilla anoxia bends and filling of the CO2 gas in the cold room. thank you very much next we will come to meet you in the Raul's lab